Revolution. This video is how to apply multiple layers of film onto a, uh, a window tent job, uh, especially when it's just the side windows, not the back window. Back window, uh, you can't do it like this, but on side windows, I'm going to show you an easier way to apply more than one layer of film. In this case, we're going to apply two layers of film to this. Um, the customer already had a uh, limo tent placed over factory tent, you know, so it's basically five over 20, which brings it down to 1%. Now he wants the two fronts to match that. So we're not gonna get into morals and stuff. I'm just gonna show you the proper way to basically apply two layers of film. Uh, a lot of times when you do that, or if you, in your shop, you might have vehicles that have come in with tent. They've had two layers applied before. And if you look at the very top, you know, the edges don't always line up. I'm going to show you how to completely eliminate that problem. This is a really novel idea, but most of us just haven't thought of it before. And uh, so I'll show you. This is a layer of 20. The clear coat is facing the glass. So I'm going to spray this. I'm going to squeegee it. Now this just came off the roll, so it should be immaculately clean. Again, the clear liner is facing that way. So we've got it wiped off, we're gonna spray it. Now, instead of cutting this out, we're gonna come here. This is a layer of 5%. We're gonna pull this liner. And we're gonna spray that. And we're gonna walk this over and apply it to that field. Nice smooth transition. Now you can line these up perfectly, you know, if you want to. I don't really care if it's lined up completely perfect. But basically go ahead and apply, go ahead and get the two layers of film already. to each other. So as you see, we pulled the clear liner off and now we're just applying this film to that film on the board and you just want to gonna keep squeegeeing until as much moisture is out as possible. And I mean, I'm putting some up into it. <clears throat> all right. All right, that's the key. That's the trick. If that's the only part of the video you see, that's going to be a huge tip. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut this window out and we'll apply the film. <clears throat> so I'll leave it up here. Switch still on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I like to I like to double cut. So I'm not gonna do both sides. I'm not gonna lay four layers of film up here and double cut both of these. I'm just gonna do them one at a time. Lost my knife. <laughs> Go. <coughs> I'm a little short, I'm going to use the stool to get up here and cut this. <coughs> I'm a little short and the truck's a little high. But when you do these like this, this is the whole reason why you put these together on the board. Your cut is going to be exactly the same all the way across. 
You're not going to have to worry about trying to line it up while you're installing it twice. You install it once, just like normal. The only, the only real difference is, you know, the film is going to be thicker. Alrighty. Just going to do a video on the whole process of double laminating it, installing it, shrinking the whole nine yards. And just to be safe, I'm just going to trim this just slightly because there's a little bit of an overlap right there. We're just going to get that together. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. And now we can get ready to shrink it. Will you grab that cord and plug that up for me? Sorry about that, y'all. I'm just uh, getting her to go grab a cord. And... Uh, we should be with you momentarily. Let me see. I'm going to put this right here. Hopefully you can see from there. All right, so we're going to lay this up and shrink it. Now, a lot of people don't shrink. I do. You can skip this if you're comfortable with not doing this. Pull it back so we can snap it. Thank you. I'm going to pull it back one more time just to be safe. And there, you don't have to worry about separation or nothing like that. This is not separating. finishing touches on it and you will be ready to install it. Y'all know I bottom load. I'm going to bottom load this just like normal. I like to use little popsicle sticks. Kind of pull this back just a hair. On some vehicles it pulls it back, some it don't. This has already been prepped. We're just going to do all the final work, final squeeze, final prep. I use this as my bottom loading tool. This is called the blade, and I also use a uh, easy reach bit in half. So I use the re easy reach to slide behind the seal easily when this does it, and slide that under. <clears throat> I 
like to get them behind the edges and flush this out. Because all your dirt and trash stay in the edges. You want to flush that out as much as you can. Get the clear liner off of this. It's now like one single piece of a tent. And this is going to meter it about 1% as it's installed. Now this is thicker, so it's gonna, gonna be a little bit stiffer than normal. <clears throat> One second. Let's see if you can place that, there we go. So the bottom load is basically essentially the same as if it wasn't two layers. Everything else is basically the same as an install. Now, if you look, now th this is gonna mostly be the video, but look at that edge. Now I haven't adjusted it yet. I'm gonna move it up and get it right. But you know, there is no, you know, you, you, you would never know that this is two layers. Um, in any case, we just had a customer come up. She's gonna have to deal with those. I don't know how good this video came out, but if you only seen the first part where we applied the two films together, that's really the biggest trick. Y'all have a great one. See ya.